like, which is good to see because I didn't, you know, I know when it's happening. The so horror is working. It's that the horror is real. It is real. David Nate from the Foo, Foo Fighters. How are you? Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. How are you? From the home of Tin Lizzy. I know uh, you boys appreciate a good band when you hear one. Gotta love Tin Lizzy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Respect. Now, your videos have always been brilliant. Your videos have always been hilarious. Is it always in the pipeline that you'd go feature length? No. Hell no. <laughs> Would, not something I think we ever imagined possible. Yeah. As, as much as there has been a popular outcry for such a thing for a long time we've resisted if it weren't for the online petition of millions and millions and millions of people asking us to make a ridiculously Fine. stupid mm -hmm. horror film Land we probably Dark. wouldn't have done it uh <laughs> no i mean i think that in the last 26 years we've had a lot of fun outside of just playing concerts and making albums and um as time goes by you look for for projects that will not only entertain the audience, but entertain the band as well. So like the documentaries that we've done, those have a completely different intention. Those are those we take very seriously and, and uh, we do them for a bit more substantial reasons. But, you know, when an idea like this falls into your lap, you're just like, OK, yeah, I mean, why not? Like, there isn't too much we haven't done. So why don't, why don't we just like reach and go see if we can pull it off? Dave, I don't know if you'll answer this question, honestly, so maybe Nate, it's one for you. Uh, is there anybody you think in the band that Dave had to say, you know, I'm only acting here, right? <laughs> uh, well, it, it, <laughs> it's funny how it worked out because the, the characters in the movie are they're, they're us, but kind of a little, you know, a little blown up and, and twisted. So there is some band dynamic in there, but it's not really us you know it's like a bit of a, a twist on it um uh, i don't know are you why do you want to throw me under the bus with the question <laughs> oh, yeah, kind of yeah, high there hey, press ahead we're gonna, like brown it out right now <laughs> come on guys he wanted to kill me he didn't get an opportunity in the movie but i was there and it's like thankfully it didn't go down i road. think that says a lot yeah. the only people that i don't kill spoiler alert are you and pat original recipe original band everybody else <laughs> that was the reason why you're doing this interview together and no one else yeah no, they're gone. so Blo and i'm going solo with the help of this <laughs> so now we're like the, we're like the new wham so you can be in the <laughs> i'm just thinking uh, blown up and twisted sounds like a good name for an album Ooh, I like yeah that. yeah uh, I, I knew it was going to be funny and it is it's absolutely hilarious but it, the gore you're, you're not messing around are you it's this proper is horror. horror film. Yeah. You, know, you might as well spend half the budget on fake blood and get a couple chainsaws. Like, <laughs> you know, like I said before, we're not we're not making psychological thrillers here. You know, it's not Midsummer or The Witch or The Shining. It's like it's full on Friday the 13th. So, yeah. I like at the premiere when there was like the death scenes and people didn't they didn't get it. Like, oh, we're switching from the funny shit to the gore now. And they're just like, <laughs> and just laughing through it. I, was kind of I we went to a premiere the other night and I sat and I watched one person the whole time and it was this woman who whenever there was like a jump scare she would like convulse like I was sitting there watching her and I knew something was coming up and something would happen she'd go oh! like which is good to see because I didn't you know I know when it's happening the so horror is working it's that the horror is real it is real have I well I presume people fans friends have said to you you guys are a serious band why are you not taking yourself so seriously here for a moment i don't think anyone said. has ever said yeah. that in the 20 years <laughs> complete misreading of <laughs> well, maybe the word was talent <laughs> no one have, has the, ever said have the yeah. foo fighters ever delayed an album uh, you guys can't stop recording have you ever been getting into trouble with your manager in real life uh, like, like stop making music <laughs> Well, you know, no. where's where's the album? Like you're always making albums. <laughs> uh, well, you know, actually, our fourth record that was probably the only time that we ever had like a major hiccup in the middle of making an album, where we recorded, we spent months and months and months making the fourth record, and then listened to it. And we're like, oh, what hell's this? Like, this is shit. Like, why? Why don't we put this out? And then we took a break for a long time and came back and re-recorded it in twelve days. Yeah, yeah. 
our manager had the best line is like, well, you could release this. I just don't know how I'm going to get anybody to listen to it. Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was right. Yeah. Dave, you're also famous for being a man who, no matter what the injury is, the show must go on. Did you get injured at all making this film? I did not, but I don't know if you're familiar with the internet hot ones. It's on YouTube. Yeah. It's an interview show where you have to have 10 oh, yeah. different hot sauces, all sort of like increasing in, in ice level. I had to do that the other day. Uh, and I was a little bit nervous because I like spicy food, but I mean, you know, the, the very last sauce is it's basically like a nuclear kind of uh, huge Scoville counts. And uh, it's really hot. Um, but I walked in there. I'm like, Hold on a second. I'm the guy that like broke my leg and finished the show. I could fucking eat hot sauce. What am I talking about? I'm gonna be laid low by a chili it was pepper. Easy. I did exactly. <laughs> I didn't even flinch. It was fine. Well, guys, it's been fantastic to talk to you. Uh, best look at the movie. It's a cracker. Fair play to you. What'd you call me? Thanks, fellas. <laughs> he called you a cracker. Thanks, guys. See you later. <laughs> Stop, Cheers,